Plato here. Um, today we're fortunate enough to have uh, a guest from overseas. Yan. Going global on the Tito Parito show. Uh, <laughs> um, we have uh, my cousin, the owner of the Pinay Aussie Shopper, Miss Wini Andaya del Rosario to share with us or to share to us her experiences on having an online business. Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get started, uh, I would like to thank you for accommodating us today at michaelcoronel.com. Uh, I know you're busy, busy with stuff and everything. So thank you, thank you. Uh, my first question is always the same. Um, what have you been doing or what are you doing before the business, the racket and all? Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm doing full-time job, day job uh, as an analyst here in Sydney. And I do, so this is just a side hassle for me, the, the online job. I do real estate as well, part-time. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> The, the more racket, the better, diba? Uh-oh. T- tell us how it started, the, the, the business. Oh, yeah. So, I, I travel to the Philippines once a year or twice. Pag sinisuerte. And most of the time, I try to take as much stuff that I can as pasalubong. But then again, time and time, I would get questions like, Oh, how much is this from, from friends? So they, they actually called it Pasabay. So it's not really that I give it as Pasalubong, but because it is cheaper here in Sydney, they would pay me kind of the same price. And then it kind of started thinking that, wh- why don't you make it as a business? Or it's not from mates, it's from my friends. And because before what I was doing, I was just, um, trying to take as much as I can with the baggage allowance. So sinasabay ko lang siya every time na uuwi ako. But with that, I can only take as much as 40 kilos. That's the maximum baggage allowance. So I tried to think of other ways of how can I send more packages for my friends. And so I've thought of sending the balik bayan boxes, the, tr- the traditional balik bayan boxes. So that's how it started. So, yeah. So you, you had this for what, a year? Yeah, a year. Like when I started really... Selling and putting mar- markup, yeah. But I've been, I've been, I've been here for the last probably seven years. So I've been going. So every to- every time na muuwi ka, you you bring in a box filled with stuff from friends for friends. Um, not really a box, kasi nga nasa ma- maleta ko na lang eh. And then oh, okay. Yeah, as as I get more orders and requests from friends. I ended up not taking clothes anymore. <laughs> okay. I mean, I make money of putting all the Tim Tams and, and all the goodies that they wanted. And they actually sell it. For, and, and they get a market for it. So, yeah. And so, oh, okay. the, the more logical thinking is I'll, I'll probably buy my clothes in the Philippines. But then, I ended up taking a luggage full of all these requests or pasabay from from friends. So, yeah. Okay. Um... That's uh, quite an interesting story. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure that your your business is not that unique. But, I mean, maraming, maraming ng ganyan before. Yeah. But how yeah. do you differentiate your business with other businesses that offer the same service? Uh, so, yeah, it, the model is different only because I don't cater to the public. Meaning... Okay. I- yeah, because when, when I was trying to plan this business, I was thinking of how the logistics would go. How am I going to send all the stuff kung nandito naman ako sa Pilipinas? And also, there's COVID, yeah? So, all the um, sending through deliveries around Manila would be different and would be hard pr- from my end. So, the, the model that I have is only for family and friends. I don't sell to public because I've got some purpose for it. One is, if I sell to the public, then these people, like my family and friends who buy from me, they would have less customers. 
because they okay. would go direct to me, right? But if I only sell to them, then they can put markup on it. And so also the thing is, I try not to put um, too much markup. As our introduction, this is just my side hassle. So for me, it's it's more of helping and providing, I, I would say, um, quality products from Australia to, okay. to the Philippines. Because every time I use stuff like, um, oh, this, this one is good, but you don't have it there. Or these ones are nice, but it's so expensive there. So every time I would, that, that's what I would always think of every time I would offer a product. So that's one, market research. I, I do a lot of research and I try to use all the products as well before I put it on, on the market. Yeah. Second is I don't sell to the public just so all my resellers would have more customers. And then I'd say third, which is most important on all businesses is the profit so yeah, yeah the, the profit. always have the profit so i put up like very little profit on on what i would offer to, to my customers to my resellers which are family and friends and so they can earn more so yeah so you mentioned a while ago that because covid happened yeah. uh, i'm pretty yeah. sure that that will be the an your answer to my next question, the challenges. Um, can you elaborate on how, how did COVID affect the business? Yeah, so initially I, I did, I was meant to go March. So I was planning to actually bring a box with me, like send a box and then the, bring some with, with, um, with myself. But then again, the, the flights were all canceled. So I yeah, had to yeah, yeah. stop all the, all the delivery, the freight services here are closed as well. Even up until now, when I did um, ring around, it's only sea cargo that's running. So all air freights are, are stopped at the moment. So obviously that's, that's a big impact to the business. But then again, aside from that, I mean, COVID aside, I think one of the biggest challenges is the delivery. I mean, so there's these two things. One, one is the pre-order wherein you're not sure if people or customers would wait. Is there a market for it? Because it's, it's too, it takes a while for the product to be there. Yeah, yeah. Because it's on a pre-order. So like even myself as a customer, most of the time, I don't want to pre-order because it's so long. Oh, yun din ako. Pag nakakita ako online ng may nakasulit na pre-order, back, di ba? Correct, yeah. So I think that's one of the major challenge, but I think it's worth a try. And your customer would, kasi resellers nga ako, so I am hoping that maybe one of them would just suck it up. So like say one of my reseller would think, oh, this one is uh, Mabenta. I am sure even if I order from, from Winnie, like 10 of these items, I'm sure I would be able to sell it. So at the end of the day, the customer wouldn't see it as a pre-order. They see it as on hand, pero ang nag-pre-order sa akin is yung reseller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think that's that's, an, that's a challenge and that's a solution too. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I know you're busy uh, and all, uh, so I'm going to wrap it up now. What, uh, my, any, any final thoughts? What are the things that you've learned along? Starting an online business? Yeah. It takes a lot of time. You need passion to do it. Like for me... As I said, if it's a side hassle, sometimes you tend to always push it on the side. Kasi hindi naman yun yung bread and butter mo, di ba? Yeah, hindi. Yung yes, level of importance. It, exactly. But then again, for me, it's more of, as I've said, what pushes me here is actually helping people, people there. Like my family and my friends, they all stuck at home and I wanted them to do something whilst they're at home. Yeah? So when, when I when I sell these products and I have confidence that I am beating everyone in the market because I am doing research. So it gives it gives them that leverage to sell. Yeah. So yeah, um you, you need to find an inspiration. That's that's one thing. And um you need to spend time really. You have to be disciplined because not doing anything wouldn't get you anywhere. Like that that's what I've learned with this one. Because for me, it's so easy to set it aside, but 
at least once a day I would target to do something. I would try like I have a page. I even ask for help from from one of your other <laughs> side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Get across something, you know, at least one one job or one step, one activity towards your business would, would really mean a thing. So, yeah. So, kasi yung, yung, yung setup mo is you, you have uh, a day job and then Correct. this is just like something you do, right? Correct. Um, for example, uh, for, for our foreign friends and uh, viewers, uh, will you recommend uh, your business model to them? I think if if like say US, because man, I'm making products from US mm. not cheaper, yeah. I would, because to be honest, I've I've seen a lot of products. Na my potential, like it's endless. When I put on, if you go on the site, and you would see, I can't even, I can't even make a list. It's it's hard for me. And also, I have that confidence of. Showing them the price. Mm-hmm. Okay, ang, ang, ang thinking ko don is even if you see it and I mark up, kasi yung mark up yan sa Pilipinas, it's two to three times. So kahit yung presyo ko dito, I put up, I, I, I show it on the site. Na ito yung mm-hmm. presyo, I know they would still order. Like they know I I mark up, I put a mark up. Why? Because it's a business, right? And you would do the same thing anyway if you you sell it to your clients. And even if you do twice, so parang middle, my middleman ka pa, which is myself, mm. seller mo, plus yung customer mo, kikita ka pa rin. So, with, with other people na nasa ibang bansa, have a look. As I've said, it needs research. So, like, I'll give you an example. Tim Tams is an Australian product. That's why it's cheap here. And mm. in the Philippines, it's 200 to 220 pesos. We buy it here for a dollar and eighty when it's on sale. <laughs> so times thirty-five more. Seventy. Yeah, I sell it for ninety-nine or a hundred, and you know you can still sell it for one twenty or one fifty. I think yeah, it's not a big markup, but then there's potential in there. Now when you have a look at Shopee, because ako that's that's what I do. Kahit nasa overseas ka, that's the good thing with online. You can see how much it costs dahil may mga website na tayo. Like Shopee, Lazada. Yeah. So, so I can do research and I know na oh, ang mahal dyan o oh, ang mura dyan. So yeah. What are the products that Australia, Australia offers na yun sa inyo talaga? Tim Tams, Cadbury, um, Smigel. Uh, I was looking at the website early, uh, last night. Uh, the perfumes. Perfumes, yeah. They're not. Yeah. yeah that's weird. The, the, cha- the challenge that's here is, if if I, I I I I'll buy the perfume from you, I know it's going to be original, right? Correct. Uh, if I buy from Shopee, and I know I, I'm not saying that the the perfumes there are you know uh, knockoffs. Mm-hmm. Pero wala walang walang guarantee eh. Correct. Yeah. Diba? Yung minsan pag amoy mo, amoy ano, seven dwarfs yung perfume. <laughs> or <laughs> spray mo nun lang may amoy after 10 minutes wala na. Yeah. Wala na, di ba? So, ang, ang nangyayari kasi, uh, nasasanay tayo mga Pilipino sa ganyan na, ah, ano yan, uh, Singapore, <laughs> ganyan, di ba? Mm-hmm. Anyhow, um, Last last question before we end all this. If someone approaches you or message you uh on oh, na na bas na panood ko yung ano mo. Um could we collaborate? I'll give you a million pesos. You you give me the the formula to your to your business and I'll operate it. A million pesos. Will you will you hand it out to them? Yes or no lang? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I mean, I don't know kung merong extra, but but for me, my thinking is I can always do it over and over again. It's not like a rocket science of how I did it. Medyo yeah. straightforward nga siya. Kaya lang, as I've said, the only key here is the time. And it's it's not something that you can patent because that's what you've said. Everyone's been doing it. So if I'm going to make money of a million pesos just to someone wants to buy the model, yeah, I'm happy to share. And as I've said, if that prohibits not looking it again, 
then maybe not. Like say, um, a, a one million pesos, but you won't get anything. Because I think I can get one million pesos of building this thing. Okay, Sorry. very good. That's it. Mm. One last. Um, if our viewers want to collaborate with you, you mentioned that your page or your 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 group is set only for family and friends. Yeah. Are you okay. open to working with other people outside your circle? Um, yes. But then again, as um, as what I've said, the reason why I've said it to family and friends is because of logistics. So, mm. and um, on the page, I've actually mentioned it pretty straight as well that I don't deliver everywhere around around <laughs> around Man Metro Manila or anywhere in the Philippines. So, ang aking drop off point lang is Shena Park para nyake. So, if someone's willing to pick up from there, then why not? Yeah. So I so, I don't mind. It, they can contact you on your your page. Um yes, but my thing I think my page is on is on what do you call it? It's on private page. So yeah, yeah. contact me via your page. I wouldn't mind if you don't okay. mind. Yeah. So yeah. guys, if you're uh, yeah? if you want yeah. to be a reseller for uh, the Pinay Aussie shopper. Uh, Drop uh, drop your comments below on this post so I could introduce you to our guest. And then, ayun, I will not get, uh, keep you any longer. I know it's, uh, it's late. It's late. <laughs> anyway, thank, you, thank, for, thank you for the time, cousin. Um, I, I wish the business good luck, good health for you, and happiness. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Thank you for the time. See ya.